Hey, what's up guys? It's Brandon here for RC Flight School. You might notice that behind me, the set's a little dry. We don't have a whole lot of planes sitting back there, but that's a good thing. We've been busy taking the planes out, trying to get a lot of footage to get running videos of all the things we've been un unboxing lately. So that's why it's a little dry behind me. But today, this is what's important. We picked up from our local hobby town in Germantown, a fun little combo pack of helicopters. So these are two helicopters that you and your friends can duel against each other. They use different ways to kind of combat and you know, get points and hit on each other. So I'm gonna open up and show you what they're all about. I've never had a chance to play with these yet. These are made by uh, Horizon Hobby. They're very similar, if not almost identical to the Blade MCX with a combat module added to them. The box leaves a little bit to be desired, but you do get a deal if you buy them as a combo like this. So within the box, we have our FHX helicopter. Cool little booklet here landing pad and whatnot and then the other helicopter the what do they call this guy the mh-35 so these are the two helicopters different body styles that you battle head to head i'm going to walk you through the booklet because i'm kind of curious what we have here so here you can see the two guys heli landing pad okay this opens up what do we got here oh it's just a giant manual i thought it'd be something a little cooler than that take a look at that Nothing too crazy, basically showing you how to use it. That's all I really care about right there. Uh, let's open up the helicopters and take a look. See what they're all about. Okay, you get your standard manual, blah, blah, blah. This is what we care about. Get you a good box shot of those. So, if I pull it out, as you guys will see, I'll give you some close-ups too. This is basically an MCX. Um, I maybe call it an, eh, it's an MCX2. I see the MCX2 swash plate, the MCX2 upper hub, MCX2 fly bar. So this is the newly upgraded MCX2 in combat form. Now the only slight change from your ready to fly MCX2 is how they charge. So this is your transmitter, four channel transmitter with the fire buttons to fire at your opponent. Now because of that, they changed the remote style and so, I. I know that it does. Yeah, the battery charges off the remote now. So you can see this little port in the bottom. Battery plugs right into that like so, and that's how you charge. You know, a lot of people hate or love that kind of charging style. Realistically, I could care less either way. These little guys charge so quick. You can buy the spare charge if you want. I think it's like 20, 30 bucks, and you can go that route too. But this just makes it ultra convenient. Less pieces to carry around with you. Quick charge while you're flying if you want. I'm sure you could have one in here and just keep swapping them out. They give you the batteries, of course, the little toolkit, one screwdriver, hang on to this. This is all you need to take this helicopter down to its bare parts. Just one Phillips screwdriver and some spare random body grommets and whatnot. Get that one out of the way. So this one here, get a visual of what this other one looks like. They did a pretty good job of making them, you know, look quite different so you know which one you're flying. And I'm sure you can get spare bodies and customize these even more. As we all know, the canopy on the helicopter is just a protective cover, so I'm sure there's tons of aftermarket out there for it. Pull this guy out. Same setup on the remote. I'm not going to pull that all out. You've seen it already. This is the MH35 then. So this is the FHX MH35. Two battling helicopters. Now, what makes a battling helicopters? Well, if you look mounted up on the bottom of the canopy here, we have a small infrared cannon and receiver. So when you're battling each other, this little guy is shooting infrared rays at the other helicopter. And if you hit him, I think this is the receiver right here. If you hit that spot, it'll take it out. Now, as far as I can tell from quick reading the box, if you hit him once, the helicopter spins around a couple times. They lose control and it spins. If you hit him twice, I think it spins down to the ground. And if you hit him three times, it disables them. So that's kind of how the point system works. You get three shots to take them out and you're going at it the whole time. Now, of course, you could actually go head to head and hit each other, but you're just gonna break parts that way. So the infrared way of doing things keeps them in the air, and really it shows who's the better flyer. Anyone can just try to ram each other. And yeah, I'm sure there'll be a lot of that too going on, but it's nice to have the infrared point style you know, combat so you can keep your helicopter in one piece and keep the combat going. Now, on top of that, we picked up one of these ground targets. This is sold separately. But this can expand the game even more. You can have, I forget how many of these up at the same time, just a ton of them, up, let's say eight. 
eight of these up at the same time and a bunch of these ground targets. I'll do a little unboxing of this for you too right away. This ground target can either be a base that you're defending or you're trying to protect other people from shooting at it, or it can be someone else's ground base that you're trying to attack. So if we pull it out, you'll see what this thing's all about. Just a little target you set on the ground, it opens up like so. And here we have our, I think it's just a receiver. I don't think this thing shoots at anything. That's the receiver unit, and it's got a whole bunch of lights to show you. Has it been hit? Is it disabled? You know, who won? These are kind of neat because now you can set up a whole ground layout, battlefield area, if you will. We have your ground targets, and you got to kind of protect or capture the flag, if you will, depending on what side of the, the line you're on. So that's our Force RC battle helicopters and ground unit, again, sold separately. If you know you're going to battle these, get the combo pack. You save, I think, 30, 40 bucks between the two. And this thing will make it a lot of fun. You can expand it with your friends. So, of course, we'll give you guys some combat videos, some in-flight videos showing you what they're all about. We're going to try to maybe do some special flex, play around with it a little bit, spice it up for you guys, but that's what you get. We're excited to show you guys how these things fly. If you have any questions, you know what to do. Just comment on below or post up at rcnightmare.com slash forum. We've got a lot more videos on there for RC cars, trucks, and all that and whatnot. Great forum with a lot of helpful people. So thanks for watching this video, guys. We'll see you real soon. All right, so this is your target that I'm trying to hit you from here too. <laughs> just, just, just wait, Brian. You should just reset, Brandon. You're like, <laughs> you already got like. That's already reset. Speaking of camping. Ah, <laughs> God, it's over. Victory. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, turret yeah, shot. And the turret. Oh, oh no. it's all over. <laughs> Yeah, no camping. Let me respawn. <laughs> oh. I'm hitting your turn then. Come on. <laughs> I'm trying to get over here, but I got nothing. There it goes. <laughs> Let's see how. Oh. <laughs> God, oh, it's no. over! Oh, no. no, fight it! Fly inverted. Battle inverted. Ah, oh, my. Ah! Oh. <laughs> ah! I'm hit! I'm hit! <laughs> Couldn't see you there with that Lego camo. The best move is to go over the top of him. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, I'm done. Am I done? Yeah, oh, fight it. <laughs> Pull out of it. I can't. Over. Yeah, you um, gotta wait till it. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna move yeah, we gotta go to bed early so we can go to Sky Ranch all day tomorrow. How do you feel about that? I will be playing with RC stuff in my own little way tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> By helping the great people of Wisconsin with their RC great stuff. Great people of Wisconsin are dicks. Yeah, I'm from Wisconsin. I'm an asshole. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, it's the